Good day, everyone, on YouTube land. This is Minister Paul, a watchman on the wall, and I'm in Northern California. My beautiful, lovely, wonderful wife, Gail Maxson, is here. Good morning, everybody. Yes, good morning. Jesus Christ is Lord. It's 11 24 2020 at 11 26 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and this is what the Holy Spirit is showing me to warn about at this time and so I will a warning came out all inspired by the Holy Spirit test the spirits and to see if it is of God May 5th Cinco de Mayo May 5th 2017 I made a war a video alert a travel warning dream in obedience I'm gonna play just about a minute of it and then show you what's what's happening now so this was then when I woke up, I felt the Holy Spirit telling me, urgent travel warning dream, Paul. Urgent travel warning dream, warn the people. And and I was talking with God. I'm like, well, you know, I've been warned. Urgent travel warning dream. So what happened was I was reading three articles and the Holy Spirit led me to type travel warning into my uh, videos that have already been made from the past travel warning not just travel but trust him to put the whole thing travel warning to think you're going to find some type of video with just those two words it, it would be phenomenal but yet god but yet god is jesus in your life is jesus in your life or are you obeying him are you serving him are you saved this article is talking about a, vac, uh, a C-19 vaccination passports. You will not be able to travel unless you have a vaccination passport. And this is an international air transportation association. It's in the final development phase of a mobile digital passport app. That would tell airlines if international travelers had been vaccinated against the, the virus. The app would help get people traveling again safely, giving governments confidence that systematic C-19 testing can work as a replacement for quarantine requirements. So this has started with Qantas Airlines already putting this into place and then expected to go worldwide that you will need a vaccination this means you have to take the vaccination and not just one shot but two shots here is the next part of the warning that in new york city over the holidays this was posted three hours ago they're installing vehicle checkpoints at key bridges and crossings and will strictly enforce the travel quarantine and here's a picture. This is the George Washington Bridge. I've, I've been shown this area so many times, so many times. So the sheriff's office will conduct spot checks when out-of-state buses drop riders off at the curb. Test and tracing teams. Test and tracing teams will be on the ground to direct individuals to testing sites and provide education on quarantine. And it talks about a 14-day quarantine mandate. But then, look what else I found. Amongst all of this, what looks to appear like martial law for me, if you don't take the vaccine, they'll take you in. And they have checkpoints in place. And you won't be able to leave and go somewhere else as led by God safely if you don't have the vaccine. Not once, but twice. Here's the article coming in yesterday's date right here doctors say the cdc should warn people the side effect from covid vaccine shots won't be quote a walk in the park i'll put a link to this article and it's talking how they want to give out this initial vaccine shot but it's going to cause side effects that no one seems to be warning about this is coming from doctors doctors the CDC must be transparent about the side effects people may experience after getting their first shot of the CB-19. And then they go on to say that they're concerned that hmm, they're concerned that people won't come back for the second shot because the side effects 
that they will receive from the first shot. They'll be weary of the second shot. Doctors are warning that they should explain it all in advance that the shot, the side effects mimic you having COVID-19. So this is what the, the Holy Spirit has led me to show you. It, it appears that they just are, this global reset includes like a worldwide lockdown of people and those without the vaccine going into some type of re-education area.